Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of City of Brass. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I am having a great day. I've learned some things uh, since last episode. I was doing some research, trying to figure out how to beat that Grand Sorceress, or Grand Sorcerer that uh, was uh, kind of horrible for us before. Uh, if you would like, come into the spikes. Yeah, there we go. And... Uh, anyway, sorry, got distracted there by all the nasty enemies. Uh, please, trigger, thank you. Uh, what do we got for sale? Blade of Cleaving, yeah, nothing I'm interested in. Um, so yeah, I was doing some research, and one thing I will say about, uh, playing games like this that are fairly new and that haven't been all over the internet yet, uh, there are, like, no guides in existence for this game, so <laughs> there, like, you search, I, I, I probably looked for a good half hour looking for, like, information about that Grand Sorcerer that killed us uh, over and over again last time, and I just found no information whatsoever. Like, there's nothing. What I did find out, though, that's really cool... Oh, hi. Is that uh, when you beat every third level, you apparently unlock a portal that you can then use to permanently teleport to the fourth level. So, like, if you die, you can skip the first three levels from then on. So, uh, it's essentially a way so you don't have to, like, redo the entire trip leading up to it every time, which is a super cool... That's a trap. Uh, that's a super cool and interesting little uh, feature and gameplay mechanic that I have to say I'm, I'm a huge fan of. I think that's a really cool thing. Um, so, I'm excited to try that out if we can beat it. I also learned... That the Grand Sorceress is not the is not the boss. Uh, it was it, just a, a not a regular enemy, but uh, just an enemy that uh, we were struggling with, but not the actual boss for the third level. So um, I'm thinking that maybe we just don't have to kill the Grand Sorceress. Maybe you just have to avoid him uh, and stay far, far away. Please die. Okay. All right. I think we're good. Let's grab this. Hi go away oh they're all right can we get a uh, can we just stop with the chargey guys please i would appreciate that there are so many of these guys they are like everywhere uh let's pop up this way oh hi hello okay you're dead i wish there was like a charge attack there we go that ought to do it we pushed him into the spike trap can't get back there but yeah, uh, it's, it's an interesting thing, and I think it's going to really help to make the series more interesting as well. Because, you know, you don't want to just repeat the same levels with the same enemies over and over and over and over again. Some games, some roguelikes can get away with that. You know, you got your games like Isaac, for example. Uh, that can, you can totally get away with doing that because there's such variety in the items and the room layouts and the bosses you fight and like all that kind of stuff there's just like infinite variety in that game i'm not really interested in any of that either um so it really kind of makes it so that you can get away with you know replaying the first few levels because every run is super super different whereas with this game like there's definitely some variety in the enemies and there's some variety in the uh the weapons and stuff but not enough, not to the same level as like a Binding of Isaac, for example. Um, so I think it's actually a really, a really good feature that you can, uh, once you kind of beat the first few levels, you can just skip ahead down the road. I think that's very cool. Strip of Ignition. We have a Fire Whip. It lights enemies on fire. This is the coolest item. I, and here I thought that the, uh, the Ice Whip that we had last time was going to be the coolest item. No, we have a Fire Whip. Get burned, fool. Dude, this is awesome. This means our whip can actually deal damage and we can just run away from... We can light stuff on fire and then run away and let him just burn. I love it. Trip, burn. Stay on fire and, and burn to death. The fire does appear to wear off occasionally, eventually, but still, this is... This, is an, this seems like an amazing item. You're getting exploded. Okay. We need to get back on task, though. Um, get on fire. Okay. There's not really anything over here that I'm interested in. We'll take the explosive pot. Take the treasure. Blow those guys up. Two enemies with one pot. Seems like a good fair trade to me. And then some. Probably a better than fair trade, honestly. 
Let's kind of work our way towards the end here, though. We got, uh, you know what? Yeah, I'll buy some healing. I'll buy some health. Well, ooh, nice try there, trap. You almost got me, but not quite. So we will leave this uh, floor with plenty of time to spare. So let's head off to level two. Okay. And the fire whip seems like it'll be amazing for us. It seems like it'll be super, super good. Okay. Oh, and we get to carry our pot with us. That's cool. Uh, enemies. Okay. There we go. Grab this. What you got? Health. Okay. Don't need it. Not right now. Get lit on fire. Do a little extra damage with the sword. Oh, and they get lit on fire when you pull them still, too. So that seems like a really good combo. You pull them close, you whack them with the sword, and then you, you let the fire finish the job. Uh, that almost did not work. Okay. So the fire damage does not seem to be, like, extreme. But it definitely does some work, for sure. Uh, a little bit more treasure over here. Let's grab that. Peek out here. I don't see any traps. I do see one of those genie enemies. I think that's... I think that was one of the genie enemies. Maybe that was one of the ones that shoots, uh arrows at you. Either way, ranged enemies are very dangerous because we don't really have, like, a super good way to deal with them. Take that. Oh! Genies! Okay. Dodge! Uh, wish? 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 No, wish. Oh, man. Okay. Wish, please. Thank you. Whew. Alright. That'll help. So now... I guess we just keep going. Unfortunately, I took more damage there than I would have liked. That, Those genies are, like, very dangerous. You're getting exploded. You're getting lit on fire. And sorted. And exploded. There we go. This is a trap. What do you sell? Gamble. Uh, I'm going to pass on the gamble. We have a little bit less money than I would like. So I think we'll pass on it for now. Grab that. And I guess we need to go this way. Take the explodey pot. That was a terrible explodey pot. That was like the worst. Okay, you're dead. No arrows, please. Uh, what did I get hit by? Okay. Ah. Okay, you're dead. Okay. Yeah, the fire is doing so much work. It's, like, great for crowd control because you can just whack each enemy and then kind of keep your distance while the fire finishes them off. It's, it seems, like, super, super good. Uh, don't think there's anything over there. We want to trigger that. That's going to hit. Yeah, okay. That was not the right way to handle that, but... Okay. 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 There we go. So we're in kind of a bad spot, actually. We may have to head back and get some more health. Because our health is uh, dangerously low right now. I will grab all of this money. A little bit more up here. That's not money. Uh, that I already opened. Let's see. What's out this way? Okay. That's a... Hmm. There's the exit. Get exploded. Oh boy. I almost I almost didn't. Trigger? Okay, got it. I hear an enemy, but I do not see the enemy. So I think we're good. So we're just gonna head to the next level and hope that uh, there's health available right at the beginning. And if there is, we may wish and try to uh, and make use of the full HP restore. I think that would be the smart thing to do. Okay. Now we've got an explodey pot right off the beginning to help us out. So we got to find and defeat the gatekeeper. There are no enemies here. You are not selling. I was really hoping that you would sell health. That was close. Okay. Explode. You did not explode. 
I grab? Or I'm dead. Dang it! <laughs> My uh, pull attacks were not pulling or hitting her, apparently. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, well, let's give this another go. That fire whip seems amazing, though. That seems like a, like, class A, like, A-tier item right there. Okay, got an enemy. Please give it to me again, the whip. No whip. Okay, that's fine. Okay, no traps here. I'm sure there are enemies. What are you? Kopesh of Teeth. Carries the sickle sore, famed for its increased bite. So this is a sword that has uh, that does more damage, I assume, which seems really good. Oh hi! Get dead. Okay. Yeah, we got enemies up there. We'll peek at them. Uh, you are supposed to die when I hit you. I I can one shot those guys. Also. I think this is... That was amazing. I think this is the... Su yeah, this is the super long range whip. So we have the super long range whip and a sword that deals increased damage. This seems very good as far as stuff goes. Because I could just pull him over and one-shot him. The damage is so good with this sword. I love it. You know how I love me some damage upgrades. Uh, excuse me. Hit the enemy, please. Okay, let's just jump and climb. Uh, just die. Okay, he went charging into a trap. That's fine. I don't see... Let's grab that. Okay. Uh, excuse me. Get stunned. Get dead. There's another one over there. Come here, you. Take a sword in the, or a pot in the face. And now we have an explodey pot. Easy enough. Okay. Not one-shotting those enemies, apparently. That was a two-shot. I don't think there's any way to do, like, a, a attack that deals more damage. I think it's... Uh, I don't know how that damage mechanic thing works exactly. I'm still kind of figuring that out. Uh, what do you sell? Rain of Ice. That's the Ice Whip. That would actually be potentially better. Man, I don't know. Is that... Is the Ice Whip better than the Extreme Range Whip? I think so. There was stuff in this room. Ah, here we go. Ooh, that was close. Okay, you're stunned, and you're not dead? Now you're dead. There we go. Give me the money. I've got 250 gold. It's not a ton, but I would like to get the Ice Whip if we can save up for it. I think that would do uh, wonders for us. And the Ice Whip, we've had it before. It seems really good. I think the Elemental Whips seem like some of the best items, at least in my opinion, from my limited experience with the game okay more gold is always lovely we're up to 350 and the ice whip was 400 oh hi where'd you come from you're dead okay oh there's more okay three seventy five okay you're dead. Stunned and dead. There we go. That's enough money. Okay, let's go get the ice whip. Because we've used that before and it's amazing. Was it you who sold that? No. Disable traps. I think it was this guy over here. Or was it you? Yeah, it was you. There we go. Okay, so we got ourselves the ice whip. And then I think we've had a pretty good level. I think we're ready to, like, move on. I'd like to have a little bit more money if we can come across it. Uh, let's, let's actually grab this one instead. And take whatever money we can find. But having an explodey pot seems uh, pretty solid. Okay, open. Boom. You're dead. Boom. 
get blown up. Where's this other enemy at? I thought I heard one. Maybe he's up here? He's probably up here. What? I have no idea what just hit me. Maybe it was leftover fire? Did I walk in leftover fire from that uh, explodey pot thing that I blew up? I feel like that's what happened. We'll take the one that lights people on fire. You're on fire. And now you're... Dude. So when you freeze an enemy and light them on fire, does it like instantly kill them? We'll have to experiment with that. Okay, I didn't miss, I don't think I missed any treasure. All right, I'm, we're down one heart. We've got 250 gold, which should be enough to buy another heart if we come across a, a health vendor. And if it's not, it'll be pretty close. Our mission is to just beat the third level so we can forever skip forward in the game. Let's just try to skirt around the edges of these traps. Okay. I think we've got like a pretty strong combo of weapons here, honestly. Can we open that? Yeah, there we go. Into the spike pit you go. Jump. Okay. You're dead. Money? Ah, there you are. I could hear him, I just couldn't see him. More money? Uh... Even more money, there we go. Now we're talking. Okay, so we're up to like 750 gold. That's pretty good. That's at least acceptable, that's a trap. Yeah, spring trap. Okay, there we go. Hi, get dead. I see you over there. Come around the corner so I can throw a fire pot at you. Oh, hi. Stupid genie. I hate those things. They are, I think, probably one of the hardest, like, early game enemies, if not the hardest. They're just very dangerous. Okay. Let's bring that. Okay, got her. Can we like... I can't seem to... Can I just break the pots? There we go. We've done it. Whoa! Uh... It's a floating thing. There's a floating thing in the air. I don't know what it's for. I don't know what it does, but it's floating and I, 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 it terrifies me. I'm leaving now. There's some ancient demon magic stuff going on there. I don't know. What do you sell? Health. Yes. Give me your health, please. Give me your strongest health. Okay. Uh, let's go. This. Okay. Yep, so this guy, side strafe, wish, we've done it. Wow, I think that's the first time we've managed to actually trigger the wish without uh, getting hit by the wishy guy. You're dead. You're so dead. Okay. There's gotta be more enemies around. What do you sell? Gamble. Um, I'm gonna pass. I'm happy with ev like basically everything in our setup right now. I don't think we need to go changing any of it. Trigger that. Okay, you're dead. Oh, okay. There we go. Okay. No more gold that I see. But it looks like this is the way to the exit. Yep. Ah, in fact, there is the exit right there. So let's trigger that. Jump over, grab that. Grab that, and we're on our way. Full health, good setup as far as items go. I think we actually have a pretty decent chance. And we've already uh, wished the genie who shoots fireballs, so he should be on our side. So this is the, the level with the guardian. We just gotta find and defeat the gatekeeper. And if we do that, and I think we have at least a, a reasonable chance of that happening. If we do that, oh, hello. 
Okay, you're dead. If we can do that, then I think we'll be in a good spot. Alright, I hear enemies. I don't currently see said enemies, but I know they're here. There's one. You're frozen, and you're toast. Okay, not poison. There's probably another enemy up there somewhere. Okay, more money. Hey, the more money, the merrier. Oh, hi! Whoa, that guy came out of nowhere. He's dead now, though. We're good. What's out here? All right, that's, uh, there's more treasure in this place. I bet. I bet if we go up here, we'll encounter an enemy. No? No enemy? No more enemy. Okay. I'm surprised, but there was a little bit more treasure. Okay. Uh, so this way. Wow. It's so hard to see if there's any, like, traps or anything here. Can we, like... Nope. That was not a good throw. It caught their attention, though. Okay. You're dead. Okay. You're dead. Nope, you're not dead. Okay. Oh, boy. Ah, he got me. That's all right. I should have stunned one and then attacked, but that's okay. Uh, so this is not the way to the gatekeeper, according to our map compass thing. Apparently, the gatekeeper's like this way. Yeah. And I see traps and stuff all over the place. Okay. Uh, and we've been through here. That was the room that we explored. I will... I want that treasure. I can't reach it, apparently. That's fine. I will take that, though. Ah, uh, there's one of those elder sorceresses. Ow. I want nothing to do with the elder sorceress. Except now it says that she is the gatekeeper? She's not the gatekeeper. No. Ow. Stop it. Please die. Okay, there we go. We're just going to run. All right, there's another one of those sorceresses coming after us. That's fine. Okay. Um, wish, actually. Holy cow, there's enemies everywhere. Oh, boy. Okay, you need to trip one. I'm dead. No, man. I, did. <laughs> I didn't make it back. I was trying to get rid of them and then make it back to the enemy, and it just... Uh, rip. Man. Poor execution on my part. I really... We need to figure out how to kill that Grand Sorceress. It needs to happen. Oh! And uh, note to self, there's usually enemies in the first room. You know this? Why are you not, uh, like, paying attention? Um, I'm not interested in any of that. As far as that loot goes. Okay, another enemy. Trip him. Kill him. He's dead. Okay, what do we got here? Money. Money is good. There's another enemy over there. We'll kill him in a minute. Actually, boom. That, uh, apparently he was not close enough. Okay, you're dead. Is there another enemy in here somewhere? Doesn't look like it. I think we've got them all. Okay. Okay. Check for money. There is indeed more money. We've checked that. All right, we're out. Okay. You sell a companion? You know what? Maybe we'll buy the companion. Okay. Oh, boy. There we go. You... Uh, okay. Did we get them all? I think we actually got them all. You know what? Let's buy the companion. And then I think the genie all the way back at the first room sold that token that, like, makes your companions better. So maybe we should head back and get that just to see, like, what the... 
how well the synergy works because it's not that far like it's gonna take up a little bit of time but i think it'll be worth it because it was this guy right here oh uh what is this charmed flame will light your way yeah, I actually don't really need that. Never mind. I thought he sold the, the soldiering coin or coin of soldiering or token of soldiering or whatever it was called. Apparently he doesn't. That's fine. All right, so we got to go this way. We have a companion to help us out a little bit. Uh, Explodey pot. Certainly better than the fire one. Uh, you're getting exploded. Uh, grab. Okay, I'll grab it with my whip. We have another one. Oh, my... My companion's going crazy. Boom! Get wrecked, son. Okay. Oh, did they kill my companion? I have a feeling that this is not where I want to be. No, they did not kill my companion. My companion is still helping. I wonder if my companion can actually die or if he just gets, like, defeated and then comes back. I don't know. Either way, he's helping us with our DPS at least a little bit. Uh, disable traps? No. Let's try... Kind of work our way around. Uh, I missed. Finish him, companion. There you go. Well done. Okay. Take all this. Don't really care about any of this stuff. Rain of Ice and Flower of Rune. I, I, uh, I'm, I'm 25 cents short of the Rain of Ice, which is the Ice Whip. Woo! That's a little dicey. Uh, Ice Whip, please. Thank you. Health. Don't care. Okay, check these for treasure. There's a little bit right there. We need to go this way? Yeah, this way. Okay. Ah, oh, rip companion. He got he got killed by the trap. I don't know if he's dead now for good. I don't it doesn't look like he's coming back. Hi. Okay. There we go. Looks like so the little ones are worth 25 cents. The like medium sized chest looking ones are worth uh, 50 cents or $50 or 50 coins or whatever. Ooh. Oh, I, I stood in the fire. Don't stand in the fire. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay. Ah, not the best level in the world, but it could have been worse. We're okay. And our companion is definitely dead. So, rip companion, you died too young. Okay, level two. I think. I think this is level two. Is this level two or level one? Or, uh, level high? Okay, you're dead. Hi, little guy. You're also dead. Give me the pot so I can chuck it at someone. Okay, there's enemies over there. What do you sell? Gamble? Probably not interested in that. Oh, what? Something saw me. Okay. Ah, they throw their spears. I see. Okay, you're dead. There was a guy up here? Ah, apparently he came down and hit him hit, and got him uh, and got himself into a trap or something. Okay. We need to wish. There we go. That should help exponentially. What do you sell? Health? Sure. We'll do it. Okay. That genie should help us a lot. This one sells health as well. Okay. We should just be able to kind of like work our way through the city pretty easily since we have this genie here to help us out. You're on fire. 
Are there any, like, treasure rooms anywhere? This appears to be one. I would appreciate it if you died. The little guys I don't worry about. Okay. I was going to say, there's still an enemy in here somewhere. There we go. Got him. What do you give? Uh, that's like the sword of super no the the club of super knockback, which I'm actually not interested in because I want to be able to hit enemies uh, in rapid succession. Maybe it has its benefits in some circumstances, but I do honestly think that that's one of the like the bad items. At least from the small uh, like the time that I used it, it did not seem to fit my uh, my play style, so to speak. That's a trap. We'll just run through it. We're good. Trap of Impact. I think that stuns enemies for longer. There we go. I think I will stick with the Ice Whip. Because it seems to be, like, the second best whip in the game. from what, Or at least of the whips that we've seen thus far, anyway. With the Fiery one being only slightly better. Okay, that is not uh, poison. This makes me happy. And there's our exit. Okay. So third level. We're, we're on our way. We have a chance again. But we got to figure out, like, I don't know what we're going to do about that grand sorceress lady. The grand sorcerer. Because I don't, I don't know. There's got to be a way to beat her. Like, there, it has to be possible. I just don't know what that way is. Oh, yep. Okay. Uh, this seems like kind of a waste of an explodey pot, but... There we go. That seems like a much better use of an explodey pot. Okay, there we go. Some enemies obviously stronger than others. Okay, not poison. We actually haven't seen any poison in those treasure chests yet on this entire run, which is uh, pretty happy. That makes me very happy. Um, okay. I guess the proper way to go is here. Okay, we got a trap. Wait for the trap to pass. We're good. Uh, you're an enemy. Hold him into the trap. That worked better than I anticipated. I'm happy to say. Okay. You... Oh, wait, that's one of the ones that throws uh, fire pots. Okay, you're dead. Yep, yep, he throws pots. I missed. Okay, you're frozen. Get dead. Where'd he go? I don't see where he went. There he is. Please just die. Thank you, Ice Whip, for making that enemy, like, way more tolerable. Oh! There's another one. Okay, where does he go? There he is. Get on fire. I don't know if I got him, or if he stays on fire. Are we still playing uh, a, a high-stakes game of chicken? What you got? More money. I think, I think we're good. I think he's dead. What you got? More money. Dude, we are rolling in the money right now. We've got so much gold. Because we really... I don't think we've actually spent, like, anything really on this run. Other than... Well, no, because that was a wish. That wasn't actually money that we spent. So, yeah, I think this is the most money that we maybe have ever had. <laughs> like, in the entirety of this series. Okay. There's the Grand Sorceress. Okay. You're exploded. See if we can draw some of these guys over here. Oh, that worked. I didn't... I, I was hoping to get more than one, but... That seemed to work. So, I don't know what we do about her. 
I think what we do first is we worry about these other, like, more basic enemies. And then we see if we can take her out. Okay, get frozen. Ah, I missed. Okay, where are you going? Where'd you go? Go up here somewhere? Oh, there, yeah, there you were. Okay, that should do it. Whew. Nasty. Okay, pads of violence, flame of sight. Nothing there I really care about. Get on fire. Ah, I got a little too close. That's all right. Ah, we did it. So the fire will kill them after they teleport. Like, the fire stays with them after, you after they teleport. That's good to know. But it seems like we need to figure out how to kill the genie lady, the, the grand sorcerer. So, let's grab an explodey pot. Let's pop into here real quick. That was a waste of an explodey pot, but... Oh, well. What you got? Uh, I think that's the coin of soldiering, <laughs> which would have been very useful when we had a companion. Unfortunately, we don't have a companion anymore. So, limited use, but... Can we climb up here? Yeah, there's traps everywhere, though. All right, where oh where... You're dead. So actually the angle that you attack them from matters. Okay. At the feet. Okay, uh, I will actually, oh, I didn't mean to wish there, but oh well. If we're struggling against this boss, we have the ability to come back here and completely restore our health, which is actually very good. Because we can come to you and just pay 12,000 for a full HP restore. All right, let's see if we can fight this boss. We're running out of time. We gotta figure out how to do this. Because as of yet, we have not actually figured out the pro- uh, what? Oh, trap. Okay. We haven't figured out the proper method to defeat her. Okay. Can you reflect her? I wonder if you can reflect her magic back at her? Maybe? Is that a thing? Nope. Not like that, you can't. What? Oh, you can do it with the whip, though. All right, so... Maybe? Yeah, okay, I think, like, it's giving me an icon. Yeah, it looks like her shield is weakening, but not enough. <laughs> but I think we figured out how to actually kill the Grand Sorcerer. It's just going to be something we need to practice. Either way, guys, that is going to do it for today's episode. If you joined the, uh, If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Link's in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.